when the use routing middleware executes, at that time only it identifies the proper route defined in the code based on the incoming request. So what actually happens is, by the time use routing middleware executes at runtime, before that, when the code compiles, the compiled code has enough information about all the endpoints which we have defined in the code. That means the compiled code already has information for which URL, which middleware should be executed, which endpoint should be executed. Okay. And because of that, when we call the use routing middleware in the application request pipeline, at that time it identifies what is the incoming URL and what are the available endpoints that has been defined in the code. And then it will try to match the incoming URL with all the endpoints that are available in the code. And it selects the most appropriate one based on the matching URL and the HTTP method. For example, if the user makes a get request to slash products URL, the corresponding first middleware, also called as endpoint, will be picked up. And then this information about the endpoint that will be stored in the form of endpoint object. And it is also possible to get that endpoint object programmatically by using the get endpoint method. Okay, so when we run our ASP.NET Core application and when a new request comes to the application, first use routing method gets executed. And once the use routing method gets executed, it has all the information about the defined routes in the code. So based on the incoming request, based on the URL and the HTTP method which has been used to make that request, the use routing middleware, it is going to pick up a route and then it is going to store that information in an object. That object is of type endpoint. And we can actually access that object using get endpoint method. Now, keep in mind that the endpoint object is created only after the use routing middleware executes. Because before the use writing middleware is called, the appropriate endpoint is not recognized by ASP.NET Core. So if you call get endpoint before use routing, in that case, it is going to return us null. Because in that case, the endpoint object will not be created. The endpoint object only gets created after this use routing middleware has executed. Let's actually understand this practically. So before this use routing, let me go ahead and let me create a middleware. For that, I can say app dot use and to this app dot use we need to pass a middleware function and this middleware function it is going to receive the context object and the next method and inside this middleware function let's go ahead and let's call get endpoint method for that first we need to access this context object and on that context object we have this get endpoint method let's call that and this get endpoint method is going to return us the endpoint object. Now this endpoint object, which is going to be returned by this get endpoint, it is going to be of type endpoint. Let's simply call it endpoint. And this endpoint class, it is present inside the Microsoft.asp.net code.http namespace. And after that, let's also go ahead and let's call the next middleware in the request pipeline and to this next middleware let's pass the updated context object and here let's also use the await keyword and since we are using the await keyword here let's make this middleware function async now remember that we are defining this middleware before use routing so when this middleware function will be executed by that time this use routing middleware has not been executed so just now we have learned that in that case, this endpoint object will be null because the endpoint object will be only created after the use routing middleware has executed. So here, let me put a breakpoint and let's go ahead and let's run this application. Okay, so the breakpoint has hit here. Now, keep in mind that when we have run this application, the first request will go to the root URL. That means localhost colon the port number. And for the root URL, we have not defined any route. Right, we have defined route for slash home and we have defined route for slash products. For the root URL, we have not defined any route. Okay, so here, so if I press F10 and if I hover over this endpoint, you will see that its current value is null. Let me go ahead and let me continue here. So here you can see the page you are requesting for is not found because we have not defined a route for root URL. But if I go ahead and if I type slash products slash product okay 
and if i press enter again the breakpoint has hit and if i press f10 again and f10 now also you will see that the endpoint is null even though we have defined a route for slash product and for the get request so currently we are making a get request to this slash product path and for that we have defined an endpoint so this is the endpoint but still here if you see the endpoint is null that's because we are trying to get the endpoint object before calling the use routing and since we are calling it before use routing by that time the asp.net core application is not aware about all the endpoints which we have defined in the code it will only be aware about all the endpoints defined in the code after the use routing middleware executes okay so that's why in this case this get endpoint it is returning null but if i stop the application and if i go ahead and if i put this code after use routing and now if i go ahead and put the breakpoint and run this application so you can see the breakpoint has been hit here again in this case also for the first time this endpoint will be null let me show you that so let me go ahead and let me press f10 and f10 so in this case also the endpoint is null now here the endpoint is null because currently the request has been made to the root url and for the root url we have not defined any route we don't have any endpoint right for the root url since we have not defined any route that means for the root url we don't have any endpoint and since we don't have any endpoint for the root url that's why currently this endpoint is null okay but let me go ahead and let me click on this continue button so for the root url we have this page not found message but if i go ahead and if i type slash product so for the slash product we have defined a route so in that case if i press f10 and f10 again now this endpoint should not be null so if i hover over this endpoint you will see that now this endpoint is not null if i expand this you will see that we have some properties and the two most important properties of this endpoint object is this display name so for the display name you can actually see the url path and the http method which has been used to make the request so the url path is slash products and the http method is get and we also have this request delegate so this request delegate is basically pointing to the endpoint the middleware function which should be executed for this url so basically this request delegate here it is pointing to this middleware function this endpoint because it is this endpoint which will get executed for slash products path and if the http request method is get okay so here using this get endpoint method we can actually get the endpoint which is going to be executed for the incoming request so here what i am going to do is i am going to write that endpoint in the response body so for that let's first use this await keyword and on this context object we are going to have a response object and on that response object we are going to use write a sig method to write some content in the response body and there i want to write endpoint dot and let's say we want to write the display name in the response so let's use that property all right now here keep in mind that the endpoint can be null for example if we make a get request to the root url for the root url since we have not defined any route in that case the endpoint is going to be null and on that null we are trying to access a property so there we are going to get the null reference exception so let's go ahead and let's handle that so here let's use this if statement and there let's say if the endpoint if it is not equal to null then only we want to execute this code okay so let me put a tab here all right let me go ahead and let me remove this breakpoint and let's run this application Okay, so for the root url you can see the page you are requesting for is not found so in this case this middleware is getting executed okay now let's go back to the browser and there let's type root url slash 
products or product if i press enter you can see the display name has been written here so basically the url to which we have made the request and the http method which we are using so basically the http method which we are using here is get method okay and then this text which you see here it is coming from this middleware because this middleware will also get executed for this url and if the http method is get all right so this get endpoint method this method can be useful when you want to know which endpoint is matched for a given url for example for logging purposes in your real world application or for any other requirements where you might need the endpoint which has been selected for a given url all right so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day